Hey, what's up everybody? I appreciate you taking the time out to watch this video. I promise you won't be disappointed. This is gonna help you a lot. My name is Tony R. Sanders and I am a sales training expert. That's what I do for a living. That's my nine to five and five to nine and I love it so much. And today what we're gonna talk about is the number one sales skill. What's the number one sales skill? I'm curious to hear what you have to say about that, but I'll tell you what it is, at least from my perspective. I talk to a lot of people who are new to sales and then I also talk to another group of people who want to get better at sales. And what I found out is whether you wanna get better at sales or you're new to sales, the skill that you need to improve on is normally the same, and that's the skill of listening. A lot of people don't feel like listening is a skill, but I'm here to tell you that it is. There's an art to listening. And I'm not just talking about hearing things, right? I'm sitting outside right now and there's a lot of things going on and you can hear different things. I'm talking about listening with intent, active listening, right? Listening to tone listening to the way someone says something, and listening well enough that you can repeat it back to them, and even better, say it in your own words, right? The number one sales skill is listening, because here's why. If you are listening, and listening closely enough, your prospect is gonna give you all the information you need to know to be able to close the sale. Now somebody's thinking, how does that work? I'll tell you how it works. The only way someone is gonna buy something from you, if, the perceived value of what you're selling outweighs the cost of what you're selling. So if I look at a certain product or service and I perceive that it will bring me a certain amount of value and I feel that value is more than what it costs, that's when I purchase it. There's a reason why somebody will spend you know, $100 for a pair of jeans and the next person would only spend $30 for a pair of jeans. The value for that person is different. The only way to find out what's valuable to your prospect it's by asking them the right questions, listening to that information, and then gathering that information to use it throughout your sales pitch. That's what's really important, right? We have to customize our sales pitches to fit the needs of the customers that we're selling to. The only way to do that is by finding out what's important to them. And that may be different during any sales interaction, right? So the number one thing that you always have to do is you have to become a better listener. Now, how do I become a better listener? I'm glad that you asked that. There's a couple different ways to become a better listener. One thing you can do is call up one of your friends. You know, we all have that friend that likes to talk a lot. Call up one of your friends and ask them how they're doing. Ask them how their day was. Ask them to tell you a story. And then listen, maybe even take notes and write it down. And then repeat it back to them. Engage in conversation, become an active listener. How about you listen to a podcast and then share it with your friends and let them know a detailed um, synopsis of what the podcast was about, right? Maybe you should uh, listen to more audio books or listen to talk radio shows and go over it with yourself, right? Even speaking out loud to see how much you remember. Listening is very, very important. Again, that's where you get all the information that you need to actually close the sale, right? Sales in its purest form is all about listening to someone figuring out what they need, and then figuring out what product or service that you can offer that will best fit what they need. Once you can do that, you'll be closing a lot more deals.